Hello everyone, uh, here is Dr. Hafiz. Welcome to data analysis series with SPSS. Uh, today we will discuss what is SPSS, how can we use it and what is the interface of SPSS. So uh, basically SPSS is stand for Statical Package for Social Sciences. Uh, mainly is a software application to use data handling and data analysis in behavioral sciences uh, like economics, uh, management, psychology and other survey based uh, analysis so uh, let's start so there are four part uh, regarding today lecture is one first one we will discuss about the data editor then we will discuss about some data entry and related issues and then we will discuss some data handling data transformation technique and method and what kind of analysis or what kind of data handling we can use in SPSS and lastly uh, is about the data analysis and let's start with the data editor so data editor is a basically a look like uh, this is a initial interface of the SPSS where you can see uh, Excel sheet is quite familiar with the Microsoft Excel as uh, similar to the Excel spreadsheet and uh, at the first we, we can use from the first option that is here uh, in the file in a file option you can save it you can open it you can close it or you can uh, create a new file while the second option second option regarding this uh, edit and in this option we can copy paste insert and we can add variables we can copy variables we can uh, undo and redo the values and the next option is about the view the view option is it will shows you the status bar the toolbar and grid lines and the next you have a data the data option is you it helps to manipulate the data you can sort the data you can merge the data you can split the data you can select a particular part of the data and it give you uh, this kind of function the data option and then next we have a transformation transformation uh, helps to uh, process the data, compute, record, uh, replacing the mis missing values and uh, such kind of related uh, tra variable transformation issues uh, with respect to this option. Then we have uh, analyzed the most important uh, option and the most important option because all available data analysis and technique and statistical tools are given available in this option. You can perform the statistical analysis, you can create a table you can calculate the descriptive statistics you can calculate the correlation you can implement some kind of regression model and then uh, other frequency distributions and graphical analysis as well and then you have the another option graphs it's a graph builder basically you can plot the data and then you can get the data uh, in the form of different kind of charts as per your requirement um, just like a bar chart pie chart and histogram or maybe frequency distribution on the chart uh, as much you want to display your data into the graphs and figure and, uh, pictures then you have a uh, utility options in this option you can get the information about the variables and the files and the next one is add-on add-on is a quite similar with the other software just like in a Microsoft Office where you can add another application and you can use it and in this way you can also add on uh, pro other programs which are belong to the similar the SPSS family and lastly we have a window option in a window option you can get the information about the files and the last one is the help the help option is about the tutorial the statistical coach if you have a license variant then you can write here any kind of technique and methodology and you can search out and then they can provide you the help and how to implement a particular set of data analysis or a test or a model so it provides you help after that uh, we have a two uh, wind view windows the two stata has a two mode of the win view windows the first one is a uh, variable data view and we, which we have a discuss uh, in the data view and the next one is a variable view and then uh, we we have it look like a spreadsheet as i i, I already have explained earlier and now we move towards the other uh, view that uh, variable view in data editor how it look like uh, at the first you can have a name of the variable 
the name of the variable in the first column shows the name is a name of the variable second column is a type the type the variable type how, how can you uh, uh, have the other type is a, is a number either the string variable either the comma either the currency either is a customized currency or string variable and the second option and uh, the width width column shows the number of character you can use for the string variable if in if your variable are in the world and then next uh, we have a decimal option the decimal column shows that how much decimal point you want to in your analysis if you want to two decimal point it means that 2.22 it means that you have a two decimal point if you want to three or four uh, it means that the 2.233 it means that the three digits after decimal point and next column you know, we have a label uh, in this uh, label you can write the description of the variable a more detail you want to do analysis and then this description can be shown after the analysis and uh, is uh, about the description of the variable and less we have a value of the data uh, in this uh, value you can code uh, dummy variable just like if you have a variable gender then you can code one is for the me female female and zero for the male so you can code the you can assign the different values in behavior science we normally have the Likert scale or other open questionnaire design so we can assign the value such as uh, strongly agree uh, is one uh, then agree two then neutral three and then uh, disagree four and strongly disagree five so you can categorize we will discuss all these uh, variable and then you have a such uh, win, uh, pop up the window the window will show the value you can assign the value and then you can label and after that you can add it in this way you can add the variable and then we next we have a missing if you have a missing value then you can if you the two options the number one is no missing value the number two if you have a missing value a discrete missing value or you can also arrange uh, describe the missing value then next column is about the width of the column in a uh, uh, data view if you increase or decrease the width of the column it will decrease and increase of particular variable data view in the uh, data view column then we you have a align option an align option will uh, data align uh, you want to data in your cent value in the center either in right side in the left side it depend upon your own choice so the, it's similar to align right left and center in microsoft office and lastly we have a, a measurement the measurement is all about the measurement of the variable the scale of the variable as we know that we have a four scale of the variable that is the ordinal scale and the nominal scale then interscale and ratio scale the four scales in spss it treats the three scale the number one is a scale variable number two is ordinal number three is a nominal ordinal basic basically is a category is a ranking and the nominal is by the name just like a gender uh, religion country is a nominal variables and scale variables data will count the interval and uh, ratio scale in a scale variable after that uh, we, we have some uh, data entry and little issues so we can directly uh, install the data in spss or we can import in spss excel file text file and other formats available suitable for the spss and lastly you can also import the data uh, from the excel you just can copy and paste in the excel sheet uh, in the SPSS sheet uh, to install the variables and then we have a uh, some kind of uh, the data handling in SPSS here you can see a list of the data handling uh, we can sort out we can rename the variable we can merge the file we can select the particular cases we can record the variable we can replace the variable we can split the files we can uh, uh, group the variable we can replace a missing value and then we also have some other data handling options just like we can calculate the difference from first order to second order seasonal difference moving averages moving uh, medians and cumulative frequency and lags and further we can have a leads so this kind of uh, data analysis handling we will discuss in our whole data analysis series as one by one and lastly uh, we have a uh, what kind of statistical package things we can calculate from there we can calculate uh, descriptive stats graphs tables then we can compare the mean of the different one or two uh, sample group and then we can also have a non parametric test we can perform the forecasting we can perform the cluster analysis we can from the generalized least square models and we can also use a dimension reduction so this is all about uh, what is SPSS 
and uh, what kind of thing we can uh, do from here so in this way uh, we can easily calculate uh, uh, what we want to for SPSL in further videos we will discuss uh, what is the SPS interface and how can we start data entry and so on thank you so much for listening